What's up carnivores, Dan Delaney here. As you guys know, I'm on a mission to find the best street food imaginable. Today we're hanging out in New Orleans and we're taking a world tour that'll make you go crazy. So stay tuned, this is Vendor TV. <laughs> All right, so this is Taco Loco. It's a taco truck serving tacos inspired by the flavors of the world. Let's check it out. All right, I'm here with Alex from Taco Loco. Alex, thank you so much for having us today. Thanks for having us. So give me the history of the truck. Uh, my wife was cooking at a restaurant and, and doing pretty well, getting some uh, acknowledgement. She actually used to cook for Emerald before and um, had some creative differences with the guy at the restaurant. And, we decided maybe we want to just, you know, own the means of production. And so uh, my mom's in Florida and the economy's not so good there. So we got a good deal on a truck, drove it up here, which was kind of an adventure, and um, get it out and off we go. Why did you choose to go with tacos? I, I think it partly started with the name. You know, they do the EAUX with everything here to sort of Louisianaify it or Frenchify it, if you will. So once we had the name, then we decided to start fitting menu items to the name, so it gives you a license to do some, some fun things. If you had to pick one taco, what would it be and why? Well, brisket, I mean, I'm messing with Texas. Um, my wife's mom is from Texas and, and uh, a big brisket fan, so that was a little bit of a tweak to the mother-in-law there. And also, it's, it's really good. Uh, I don't even know what she does with the, the marinade, she won't tell me. but. Um, it works, and uh, that's usually what sells out first. All right, this sounds delicious. Can we try some tacos? Certainly, let's go. All righty, we're gonna try some tacos right after this. So these are the Soul Man tacos. We got some bulgogi chicken. Now bulgogi is like a Korean dish. Um, I've seen it with beef, and now I've had it with chicken. Taco, mouth, hello. Sometimes tacos are nothing but savor. It's just meat, 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 savory, savory, coat your tongue. These, not the case. There's a good amount of acid in here. Um, the pickled onions just kind of really bring a brightness to the whole thing. Plus this, the sriracha uh, mayonnaise. It adds a, a spice that's not overpowering, but kind of lingers around for a while after you're done. And the chicken marinated in this sort of bulgogi style adds a lot of sweetness to the whole deal. Altogether, delicious, complex, and well-balanced. All right, so this is the <laughs> Let's get started. So the ai is all about spice. There's andouille sausage, which is a pork sausage, and it packs a lot of heat. And then, he's trying to kill me, he puts some more Louisiana hot sauce on there. So you have two different types of heat. One kind of like burns you on the initial attack, the other one just kind of ruminates, it lingers there, and it just festers, and it's hot, hot, hot. You need to be able to handle heat if you're gonna have one of these tacos. The little bits of saving grace are the crema. There's some sour cream in there, kind of cool things down a little bit. You got some uh, onions and peppers that are caramelized, add a little bit of crunch, a little bit of sweetness, and then you got that, that uh, black bean paste. It's like refried black beans. Add some smoothness, a little bit of texture. All in all, really delicious, but man, is this hot. All right, that is it for Taco Loco. The tacos were both diverse and delicious. If you wanna learn more about them, follow them on Twitter. It's at TLNOLA. If you want to learn more about us and all the cards we cover, visit us online at vendor.tv. As always, I'm Dan Delaney, encouraging you to eat the street. I'll see you next week. Hey, carnivores! I'm working on a brand new show all about bicycle-powered food touring, and I'd love you guys to check it out. Visit us online at hungrypeddler.com. Once again, that's hungrypeddler.com. And take a look at the brand new show I'm working on. Thanks. You know you can't use the word on Vendor TV, Jeff. You know that? But I'll be pigeon your tuckers all night. All right, let's get tasting. <laughs>